I'm proud of all the shows I've done. I really am. And I think that when things are successful, that you think, oh, I'm proudest of the biggest successes. But I, I'm, I think when you're doing something, you've got to feel, you know, you've got to be proud of it. And I certainly think that I'm probably proudest of Sex and the City because I think it, I think it, um, I feel like it touched people and, um, and it, it basically uh, showed what television could be in a way that it hadn't been before. And I think it was really groundbreaking. So I'm really, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm really proud of that. Um, but, you know, I think that's, I think that, I think you're always, you know, I hate to say I hate to say proud of stuff because it's like saying what ch- what which child do you love best and you know I think you gotta love them all mm-hmm. and I do you know I think when you're working on a show you gotta love it and I think if you don't you know it's like you gotta give it as much love as you can so um, I've I really have tried to like love all the shows that I've that I've uh, that I've worked on and I think certainly my most exciting show was Beverly Hills Nine Two and because there's nothing like having that first success I mean it just it was amazing and unexpected and it's like it's like I kind of feel like nothing will will beat the excitement of of like you know writing your first show that becomes a hit and seeing it like seeing people respond to it and uh, it was amazing Mm -hmm. any career regrets the past number of years I wish I spent more time writing and less time producing I think I got a little tired of writing I think I spent a lot of years writing and I just needed a a break, but I wish I'd kind of like maybe spent a little, just, you know, um, a little more time, you know, spent a, l- a few more years, I, whatever. Um, I don't, I'm trying to be articulate now. <laughs> um, uh, I think it's, I don't know. I I feel really like, um, I feel lucky because I feel like even anything I would go back and say, I regret this has been an experience that I, I had to have, you know, and that I wanted to have. So they're not regrets. They're just sort of like, okay, I think people tend to define anything that's not successful as a regret, but I think that's a, you know, I think I've, I've learned a lot from everything I've done in this business. And it's like, uh, I think I've learned a lot about myself and what makes me happiest also. And I think you got to go through that whole learning curve to, to, to get there. Mm-hmm. So I'm, a, I'm just excited that I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm, really doing the same thing that I was doing 25 years ago in Beverly Hills Under 2 and 0 and it's like um, I'm doing it in the same way and it hasn't changed that much and it's still it still is uh, it's still not easy but it's the it makes me the happiest where do you see yourself in 10 years wow um, I hope doing the same exact thing I'm doing now I would like to just be um, I'd like to be doing exactly what I'm doing now in 10 years um, uh, writing and producing something. <laughs>